Hello and welcome back. In this episode of the Insta Filter series, I will share a very interesting effect which works very well with landscape photos. Let's see how this method affects this image. I can make the image really nice and warm, which is the default behavior, make it a bit more natural, and finally create a lot of drama. Interesting, isn't it? So let's go. I'll start by removing the group with the adjustments and start from scratch. First thing we need to do is to add an HSL adjustment and move the hue slider all the way to the left or the right. So we get 180 degrees of shift in colors. This will invert the colors and you get this alien planet look. Next, let's move it so it becomes a child layer of the image we are working on. I'm then going to group this as I will be adding more adjustments later on. Time to adjust the blend range of this group. I will drop down the highlights from the underlaying layer, so the highlights are not affected by the adjustments in this group. Perfect, that looks much better already. To finish up, the cherry on the pie will be the change of the blend mode. If I now change the blend mode of the group to subtract, have a look at that. This is what I call the 180 subtract HSL. Now you can fine tune this in different ways. For example, lower its opacity, add some curves and so on and so on. But we can also continue in this subtract group. I can duplicate the HSL again. This will really darken the image as the subtract blend mode usually darkens an image as the color values are subtracted from each other, resulting in a much darker color. However, I can now modify this second HSL to balance out the effect. As this is in subtract mode, you have to keep in mind that increasing the luminance will make the image darker as the color value subtracted gets bigger. I would say just play with the sliders to get the effect that you're looking for. As an additional step, you can also add a recolor adjustment to give it a nice color tint. One tip here, you can set the blend mode of the recolor adjustment to difference or subtract, so the colors you choose are applied in the adjustment. Again, just experiment what looks good for you. A tip here would be to focus on one area. For example, in this image, I'm focusing on the sky. Don't worry too much on the overall strength of the effect. Once you have found a cool look, you can lower the opacity. Or just as I'm doing right now, you can add a curves adjustment on top of the group to brighten things back to normal again. Let's have a look at the next image. Again, I applied the same steps here. A subtract group with the 180 HSL and the blend range adjusted to protect the highlights. Let me enable the group so you can see the after. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Let's quickly go through the layers. So the first one is our base 180 HSL. This made the image a bit too red. So I duplicated it. After adjusting it, I got the greens back and finally I added a recolor to make the colors look a bit more natural. So, why does this work? Let's try to understand what is happening by using an HSL wheel. I will apply the 180 HSL in subtract blend mode to this color wheel. Did you notice what happened? Maybe you missed it. I will turn it on and off a couple of times so you see it more clearly. Basically, the 180 subtract HSL widens the blue, the red and the green. So everything close to blue will become blue and everything close to red will become red. And the same applies to the green. The color wheel was fully saturated. Let's see what happens if we apply it to less saturated colors. I will use a curves layer to lower the saturation. Let's enable the 180 subtract HSL again. Interesting. It darkened the colors and made the red, green and blue more dominant. Pretty cool. 
as landscape photos have a lot of these base colors, applying this method works very well with them. Here is another image. A beautiful image of a tree. Let's make it more dramatic. Doesn't that look more interesting? Again, the same steps, but with a twist. I started out with the 180 HSL, but tweaked it a bit as this image contained a lot of green already. Next, I made a duplicate of it and used the pin light blend mode on it. Let me quickly switch back to normal blend mode to see the difference it makes. I think the pin light mode works amazing in this example. On to the next image. Applying the 180 subtract HSL creates this nice contrast and the flowers come more to life between the grass. As before, with the second HSL, I dimmed the green in the grass a bit. Here is another example. The 180 subtract HSL and let's apply it. Interesting. To go a bit to the extreme, here is the second HSL. And let's apply this. Now you have green grass. Just because we can, and we got lucky of course with the colors in the image. As mentioned, this method works well with landscape images. In portraits it is less useful, as you will get a lot of red in the faces, which will look strange. However, if you have a very bright image with dull colors, like this one, it works pretty well. Let me enable it so you can see what I mean. Awesome! We can lighten up and give it a nice atmosphere by adding a recolor in subtract blend mode. Remember, for the recolor, the subtract blend mode works more natural. As we have a double subtract, the selected colors will be applied. You might think now, I can also add a recolor outside of the group. Let me quickly do that for you so you can see the difference. Definitely not the same coloring effect. Having the recolor in the group creates a much better result, which is expected, as the recoloring happens before the subtract of the group, which in a way dims the recolor. Here is another portrait image, which is quite bright. If I move the adjustment we used earlier to this image, have a look at that. The model really pops out the screen. I can also enable the recolor, which also creates a nice effect. The final image, again a bright image, and here we can use this method to give it a bit more a summer look. I just applied the same steps and finished with a curves layer to brighten things up. I hope you liked this method and of course this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, keep safe and keep being creative.